Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bake. Today I'm going to be baking soft and chewy ginger nuts. Um, my mum's not currently here at the minute, um, so it's just going to be me doing it. And I'm going to get the tripod set up and do it that way. So yeah, I'm going to wash my hands and crack on with the video. So what I'm going to do is is put my butter in which is a um, hundred and a hundred and twenty five grams sorry about that I will link everything in the description below um, my 200 grams of caster sugar Just cream it together until it's obviously light and fluffy Like so, now it's nice and light and fluffy and now we're going to beat our egg which I've already done and pour that in, your beaten egg. And then also what we're going to do is I've got all my sieved ingredients here which is we have um, flour which is 275 grams uh, one dessert spoon of ground ginger one teaspoon of baking soda quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon half a teaspoon of garlic um, ground cloves sorry a pinch of salt and then you also you need to sieve it because just to get any lumps out it's got to be really fine now you're gonna I'm just gonna just gonna whisk Mix it in a little bit. And now add add it ever so slowly, but what you can do is just just mix it all in. And then just Just add it bit by bit. Also, while I'm doing that, I'm going to add in my water. Give it a stir. And my... My black treacle. And now I've got my water and my black treacle in. I'm going to put the rest of the ingredients in. And just bring it all together now. Now 
now your mixture is ready you want to just grab it just like a little bit into like about a walnut size and you also should have left um, two tablespoons of caster sugar just to roll your, your little walnut ball size shapes in and just basically just place them like that onto your baking tray just you know it's a very sticky job just a little bit probably like that to be honest to do um whatever size you want them really but It does say spread them out on the tray, obviously because they're going to go, they're going to spread quite quick. So leave a gap. And it should look like that. And then, um, something like that and then just stick them into a preheated oven on gas mark for um, about 180 celsius uh, just see so I've left the gap in between um, if not you can always sprinkle a bit of extra sugar over them and just like that gas mark for 180 celsius for roughly about 10 minutes cooking time um, and then you're going to just use all your mixture until you've finished. <clears throat> also, just very quickly, if you don't have grease proof or parchment paper, um, <clears throat> you can just use flour. Just to so currently filming this on my phone as my battery on my camera just died. Um, so once you've got rid of most of your mixture, here's some more here. Just plop it into your caster sugar and just just roll it around in the sugar. You'll do that with all of your mixture. Take it out, roll it in caster sugar into like little ball shapes, and then just tear it off and put it onto a tray, flat it down, stick it in the oven and cook it until they're all finished so I'm just going to crack on with these ones and I'll show you the finished product right so there you go, now they're all out of the oven s slowly cooling down um, you are actually meant to get uh, 24 cookies out of it but I managed to get 45 so I've got 20 more they say walnut size which is probably about that size um, but they probably actually mean about about the size of a baseball just to get 24 but yeah there they are I've had one actually really nice mum's also come back and tried one yeah, so they're uh, really nice. A little bit of sugar on the top, that's what your leftover sugar is for. Um, obviously, you just put on the top and that, roll them in. 
Mm -hmm. Actually really nice. Nice bit of crunch on the outside and soft in the middle. Um, not too gingery. Um, but obviously my, like my mum says she likes ginger. So you can add a lot more if you wanted to. Um, and I'm not too sweet. Actually really nice. You can taste it but not like a lot. Um, and not too sweet neither. They're actually really nice. Um, but yeah if you enjoyed that video give it a big thumbs up. Also <clears throat> please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, share it around with your friends and family. Um, also like we said before if there is anything you want us to cook then just let us know either on YouTube or on our Facebook page all our links are down below in the um, description box um, <clears throat> and yeah if you if you ever any cook any of our recipes then send us email or through to our Facebook page and we'll share them and um, so yeah catch you guys next time